Hello everyone. In this session, I will take up another topic that is structure of monocot stem. This monocot stem does not show secondary growth. It does not show secondary growth. Are you understand? The structure of monocot stem can be understood by taking transverse section of maize maize stem okay the transverse section of maize stem shows mainly four parts mainly four parts they are number one epidermis first one is epidermis and second one is hypodermis hypodermis and third part is ground tissue ground tissue and fourth part is vascular bundles vascular bundles these parts are present in the transfer section of maize stem coming to first one in the transfer section the first part is epidermis you can also observe the transfer section this is the ground plan of maize stem and this is sector plan of maize stem the epidermis is single layered single layer of cells are present in the epidermis and the cells are rectangular in shape rectangular cells are present in the epidermis and all the cells are closely arranged without intercellular spaces there are no spaces between the cell at some places this epidermis is interrupted by stomata stomata are present in the epidermis these stomata are useful in exchange of gases exchange of gases okay this epidermis is covered with a waxy layer it is covered with a waxy layer that waxy layer is called cuticle cuticle this cuticle prevents the loss of water from plant body are you understand once again i am repeating epidermis is the outermost layer it contain single row of cells and cells are rectangular in shape and these cells contain cytoplasm and a clear nucleus single clear nucleus is present this epidermis is interrupted by stomata these are the stomata and these stomata are useful in exchange of gases next epidermis is covered with a waxy layer that waxy layer is called cuticle this is cuticle this cuticle prevent the loss of water from stem okay this epidermis gives protection to the inner tissues okay this is about epidermis next coming to second part hypodermis where it is present hypodermis is present below the epidermis it is present below the epidermis in monocot stems distinct cortex is absent so that hypodermis is present beneath the epidermis generally hypodermis consists of 2 to 4 rows of cells 2 to 4 rows of cells and these cells are sclerenchymatous cells are sclerenchymatous are you understand and these cells are closely arranged without intercellular spaces there are no gaps between the cells okay this hypodermis gives mechanical strength it gives mechanical support mechanical support okay in some plant species in some monocots between the epidermis and hypodermis two to four rows of parenchyma is also present two to four rows of parenchyma is also present in some species which is present between epidermis and hypodermis this is about hypodermis next coming to third part ground tissue ground tissue below the 
hypodermis the remaining part of the stem is called ground tissue this ground tissue is composed of parenchyma soft parenchyma is present in the ground tissue this all is ground tissue and the cells contain thin walls and they are loosely arranged with intercellular spaces they are loosely arranged loosely arranged that means intercellular spaces are present between the cells and they contain thin walls and chloroplasts are absent in these cells there are no chloroplasts and the main function of ground tissue that means the main function of parenchyma is to store food material that stores food that stores food in the cells in the ground tissue vascular bundles are scattered such a steel is called atacto steel atacto steel the atacto steel is considered to be most advanced type it is advanced steel there is no endodermis no pericycle no medulla no medullary rays vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue okay next coming to vascular bundles the fourth part of the monocot stem is vascular bundles already we discussed that the vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue they are generally oval shaped they are oval shaped and vascular bundles are conjoint they are conjoint collateral collateral closed and endarch vascular bundles closed and endarch vascular bundles vascular bundles are conjoint conjoint means both xylem and phloem are joined both are joined they are occur side by side collateral they are side uh, they occur side by side closed there is no cambium between the phloem and xylem and endarch endarch means protozoanal elements are present towards the center and metazoanal elements are present towards the periphery or present towards the outside such a vascular bundle is called endarch vascular bundles protozoanal is towards the center and metazoanal is towards the periphery these vascular bundles are covered with fibrillar sheath so that the vascular bundles are called fibrovascular bundles fibro vascular bundles these vascular bundles contain xylem and phloem xylem contain xylem vessels xylem tracheids xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers these all are present in the xylem okay next phloem contain sieve tubes companion cells and phloem parenchyma is absent phloem parenchyma is absent remaining all are present at maturity the xylem tracheids and vessels are disorganized that means they are crushed to form a canal like structure this is a canal like structure that canal like structure is called protozoanal lacuna that means protozoanal elements are crushed and they form a canal like structure a canal that canal is called protozoanal lacuna this is about the structure of monocot stem in the next class i will come with another topic thank you